Hey everyone, it's Jen with Chappie Plans. Thanks for hanging out with me for this daily process video. If you'd like to see what I'm gonna do for November, stick around. Hey everybody, it's Jen with Chappie Plans. I hope you guys are having a great week. Thanks for watching this video today. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, new month, new theme. So moving on to November, for me, it's all about the mushrooms and the leaves. I just, I'm obsessed. I had to stop myself from adding in little woodland creatures, but maybe next time. Um, <laughs> I knew it would take me quite a bit of time if I was going to start adding in little creatures. So I kept it simple with mushrooms and leaves. Um, and so I, yeah, I'm just on this kick right now where I'm like into the mushrooms. So... I'm doodling some and this week was split with the last part of October so this will be week 44. I'm um, just doing some doodles here nothing super fancy it's clearly you know pretty basic but I love that it's going to house all of my memories for the week so um, first thing I'm doing is using my micron uh, in a size 05 nib and then I'm going to uh, kind of trace over the sketches I already put in there. Um, this video is sped up to four times the speed, just so you're aware. It, real time, it took me about 35 minutes or so. Um, not long at all, but I just like to, you know, watch my YouTube videos and create and just kind of veg out. So um, yeah, it's, it's a good time for me. It's a nice way to unwind and sort of just take care of my mental health and have fun. So this is a stamp set I hardly ever use. If I, I don't even know if I've used it yet. It's an older one from Heidi Swap um, last year. I want to say it's a Stamp Society stamp from the springtime. I'm guessing around February or March. Um, if it's available, I'll link it below. I'm not even sure if, if it's like something you can buy separately. But anyhow, I like the thin numbers because November is such a long uh, word. And I thought, oh, these are nice and skinny and they won't take up too much, you know, like... I can fit longer words in a smaller space. So that's why I chose those. And then I picked these Destination Alphas from Heidi Swap as well for the numbers because they're about the same height, even though they're thicker and a different font. I was okay with that. Um, so I've got week 44 there and my super favorite four by six uh, days of the week stamp set from Studio Calico. I'm gonna pull that in to put all of the days of the week. I don't know why I started with Sunday, but it's fine. <laughs> I won't make the same mistake I made last time, which was to put the wrong dates and days. So um, yeah, this time I like triple checked. Okay, Wednesday is actually the first, not a Monday the first. So um, I'm just going to stamp the days and then the um, numbers are the... Oh, gosh, I forget what they're called, but they're just like basic numbers from Heidi Swap as well. They're just a great size and they don't take away from the fun, bouncy font of the days of the week. So I chose these and they were like tiny, you know, like just the right size, I think. I think they complement um, these days of the week words very well. You'll have to let me know what you think. Um, you can see to the bottom left, I have some stamps that are pulled out. And I will be using those, not this week, but probably next week. I forget. And I, while I was filming this, I was thinking like, oh, I should just batch film all these. It would be so much easier for me. And I mentioned that before. Um, no one's commented before, um, but I would love to know if you could tell me if you would mind if I batch filmed these. So like these videos are short. They're about, you know, anywhere from five to 10 minutes. But if I put all of the months into like two separate videos, so that, you know, I only have to do the editing and uploading and description box and all that stuff like twice a month instead of four times a month or five times a month. That would be very helpful for me. I'm um, just wondering what you guys, you know, would think about that it would mean, you know, every other week or so you would have a daily um, process video instead of every week. Um, so these are the colors I picked out for November. I was, I had a hard time picking out colors because y'all know I love my rainbows and any type of like bright colors or like even a different funky color scheme. I thought about doing like, I don't know, 
pinks and purples for November, but I was like, no, let's go more traditional. This is my first time doing like a daily journal, which means, um, not a daily journal, not my first time doing a daily journal, my first time doing like a bullet journal style, um, daily. And I wanted to stick with more traditional colors for this month. Um, I wanted to be able to look back at it and go, oh, yep, this was definitely happening in this is the fall. So I chose more traditional colors. Um, you know, sometimes I'll go to Pinterest and look up fall color palettes or spring color palettes or, you know, depending on what I'm looking for um, and kind of use that as inspiration, see what Tombow markers I have that, you know, could work. And then I try to match my Distress Oxide inks to the marker. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, let me refer to my handy dandy little um, reference at the beginning of my Art Journal journal, which I just placed an order for two more for next year because um, they were having a sale. So uh, the numbers that I have are 992, which is that like khaki lightest brown color. 879 is going to be the darker brown. 847 is the like more maroon red, deep red that's on the underside of that mushroom there on the left. And then the more traditional brighter red is 835. Orange is 925. The dark yellow is 993. The brighter green is 126. And then the darker green, the more emerald color green is 346. I also decided at the last minute to add in this like super, super, super light gray. It's almost like grayish brown in person. Um, it's N89. I really like it because it's super subtle. Um, so that's basically going to be it for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss my content. And I will see you guys next time. Take care, friends. And remember that you are enough. Bye-bye.